Well, guys, look over there. There is an octopus. Octopuses typically hunt for food at night. They use their long, flexible arms to search for prey on the ocean floor, including crabs, shrimp, fish, and other small mollusks. Octopuses also employ camouflage and their ability to climb to stealthily approach prey before swiftly capturing it with their strong beaks. There is a jellyfish. Jellyfish employ various strategies to evade predators, including swift movements, transparent bodies, and unappealing appearances to predators. Some jellyfish species also have the ability to change the color of their bodies to camouflage themselves in their environment. Additionally, some jellyfish species have long tentacles to catch prey and maintain a safe distance from predators. There is a puffer fish. This puffer fish is usually found in saltwater and freshwater waters such as the Amazon River and the Mekong River. Puffer fish are characterized by a long and tapered body, round head, prominent lips, and a large stomach. These puffer fish do not have scales, but some have spines. This is ammonite. Ammonites are predatory animals, these squid-like creatures live in shell-shaped coils. Like other cephalopods, ammonites are highly alert, with beak-like jaws within a ring of tentacles that extend from their shells to ensnare prey such as small fish and crustaceans. Some ammonites grow to more than 3 feet or about 1 meter in diameter. This is a blue spotted ray. Having a beautiful color that can catch people off guard when they see it, this blue spotted ray apparently has a secret weapon. It has two large and medium-sized spines at the end of its tail. These thorns can cause a number of dangers if they come into contact with humans. As a self-defense mechanism, the sting caused by these thorns can be very excruciating. This is Gulper Eel. Gulper Eels are oval in shape with long, whip-like tails. This eel can grow up to 100 centimeters in size. On the head there are very small eyes. Even though there is no sunlight in their habitat, the function of the eel's eyes is believed to be the result of evolution to detect dim light. This is garfish. Alligator and garfish eggs are generally very poisonous. It will be very dangerous if you eat this fish. The poison in garfish eggs is a self-defense mechanism so that the eggs are not eaten by predators, such as crustaceans. This was thought to be one of the reasons why gar fish have been able to survive until now since hundreds of millions of years ago. This is a Dacopodiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. There is crab! The fine hairs on crabs serve several functions, including acting as touch sensors to help the crab sense its environment, serving as protective tools to guard against attacks from parasites or small predators, and aiding in movement and balance while swimming or navigating in water. Additionally, these fine hairs, known as seedy, can also trap particles of food and debris. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look! Wow, this is starfish! Tentacles are used to assist starfish in moving on the seafloor or on substrate surfaces. Through the tentacles, starfish can capture and direct food to their mouths for digestion. Some species of starfish use tentacles for gas exchange, although the majority of their respiration occurs through their skin, tentacles can function as sensory organs to perceive the surrounding environment, such as detecting food or danger. There is lobster! The large claws of a lobster are used to grasp and crush food. Lobsters are predatory animals that use their claws to capture and break down prey such as fish, shellfish, or small mollusks. The claws also serve as a defensive tool. 
Lobsters can use their claws to protect themselves from predators or other threats by tightly closing them. This is blue whale. The mating process of blue whales involves the search for a mate through distinctive vocal calls known as songs. During mating season, males produce complex songs to attract females. Once a mate is found, they engage in a series of mating behaviors, including swimming together and copulating. This is box fish. This boxed fish also contains high protein and low fat. The protein in sea fish is known to be very good for treating digestive problems because it can be absorbed by the intestines more easily. This is because the protein in fish contains fiber which can improve the performance of the small intestine. This is a moray eel. Moray eels, like many other marine species, reproduce through a process called spawning, where the female releases her eggs and the male fertilizes them in the water. However, specific details about the mating behavior of moray eels, such as mating rituals or the roles of each gender, may vary depending on the species. This is a hermit crab. Hermit crab have antennas that they use to detect chemical changes in the water, such as pheromones. This helps them communicate with other members of their species for mating purposes or territory marking. Some snail species use physical touch to communicate, such as tapping or touching other members of the species to show interest or trigger a social response. This is a crayfish. Crayfish can be kept in an aquarium under suitable conditions. They require clean water, stable pH, and places to hide. Their diet can consist of fish pellets, vegetables, or even meat. Make sure to understand the specific needs of the crayfish species you are keeping to ensure their well-being. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look over there! There is spotted eagle ray! Blue spotted eagle rays, also known as electric rays or electric fish, have the ability to generate electricity. They possess a special organ called electroplates, which enables them to produce electric charges used for both self-defense and hunting prey. Hence, it can be said that electric rays are electrically charged. This is a dugong. Dugongs, also known as sea cows, typically live in small groups or pairs. They tend to socialize with others and usually do not live alone. In certain conditions, such as when searching for food, they may appear solitary, but generally, they prefer to live in groups. This is squid. The behavior of squid can vary depending on the species, but generally, they are known to be intelligent and adaptable creatures. They are often active at night when hunting for food and can utilize their camouflage abilities to hide from predators. Some species are also known for their ability to communicate using patterns of light and body movements. There is a clownfish. Clownfish typically hunt for food by foraging for small crustaceans, algae, and plankton near their anemone homes. They use their agility and small size to dart in and out of crevices and coral formations, snatching up prey as they go. Additionally, clownfish have a symbiotic relationship with anemones, providing protection to the anemone in exchange for shelter and potential food scraps. This is dolphin. The mating process of dolphins, known as mating, typically occurs in the water. Male dolphins will chase female dolphins and perform a series of movements to court them. Afterward, they will swim together and engage in copulation. This process can happen relatively quickly or over a few hours, depending on the species and environmental conditions. This is Gurnard fish. The flying Gurnard fish is a unique species of fish that has wings and legs. This fish is one of the species Dactylopterus volatans. 
a type of fish that lives at the bottom of the ocean. The name, Gernard, for this fish comes from the French word, Gernard, which means, purr, because this fish is known to make a sound like a snoring sound. This is mouth bass. Large mouth bass, also known as the Queensland grouper, is generally aggressive when it comes to hunting for food. They often hide in coral crevices or among rocks, waiting for their prey to appear. Giant groupers are also known as effective predators, utilizing their size and strength to catch fish and other marine creatures. Thank you for watching guys.